ethanol today is already 50% lower carbon than gasoline. And our member producers and ethanol producers across the country are continually shrinking that carbon footprint. And, and our members have adopted a vision, adopted a goal to achieve a net zero emissions carbon footprint for ethanol by 2050 or sooner. A number of our member producers um, are constantly um, finding ways to reduce you know, carbon intensity. Uh, there's a, a number of announcements out there where um, some member organizations are using CO2 uh, in, in new and in, in interesting ways, whether that be through sequestration or utilization by turning it into another uh, uh, co-product. In particular, what's fun for me being a farm kid is the farm gate is going to be involved. When it comes to our ethanol facilities, if the farmers can lower their carbon intensity in production methods or practices, then we in turn are already on a better footing. But once you get to the ethanol production facilities, we're looking at everything from efficiency to new technology, and then obviously taking it to market. So there's every aspect of the food chain or supply chain for the ethanol industry is involved in the carbon intensity challenge. And we think that that path to net zero is there. The pledge to continually improve and lower our carbon footprint is what is really opening new doors for the industry. Uh, whether that is sustainable aviation fuel, whether that is looking at the use of ethanol in marine fuels, uh, whether that's looking at ethanol as a building block for green chemicals. Uh, all of those things are happening, all of those doors are being opened.